Hey guys, what's up? Shane Wolf 38 here, and today I have by far the fastest maze generator that I've ever made. And the reason for that is because it doesn't actually use any entities in the maze itself. It only uses four entities for randomization. And I realized I actually could have done this for my 1.12 version. I just I didn't realize I could make it like this. So it's not going to be a very long video, just kind of showing you what it can do. So let's start off with uh, this one, which is a 32 by 32 maze. I'm going to go into F1, and here we go. So you can see that that one took about one second. If I clear it, a couple seconds, and then again, and then it's really easy to do that. It does not take any time at all. And yeah, so this is for a 30 by 32 by 32 maze, pretty big. Let's uh, go on to a bigger one, slightly bigger. Okay, so here we are. This maze is 63 by 63. And as you can see, I use a different color block since it doesn't really matter what kind of color you use. I just chose to use logs in this one. So let's go ahead and run it. And you see that that took maybe a little bit longer than a second to load in. So let's go ahead and clear it and then run it again. And then we can clear it and run it again. And it's just insanely fast. I mean, the one I made back in 1.12, which used a grid of entities, would take about five seconds just for a 20 by 20. So I don't even know how long it would take for something of this size. And last but not least, let's show the biggest one, which I think is um, it's about 125 by 125. So let's move on to that one. Okay, so here we are at the 125 by 125 maze, and as you can see, this thing is absolutely massive. I don't know why you'd want to make a maze this big, but in case you did, let's go ahead and see how it would run. So there we go, and it loads in. Let's go ahead and clear it, and this time we'll count how long it takes. So, one, two, so just at about two seconds there, it comes in, and let's go ahead and count the clear time as well. So one two so you can see that it takes just about the same amount of time to clear as it does to actually make the maze itself or not clear but reset the maze so the logic is almost instantaneous what takes the most time is minecraft just updating all those blocks in such a large area so 1.13 runs this extremely well i'm really impressed with how fast it's able to do it and the way i made this maze without any entities is the fact that with the new execute command, you can run a function positioned at a certain location. So you can almost treat the function itself like an entity. You can run it two blocks ahead, two blocks to the left, two blocks to the right, so on and so forth. So you don't actually need an entity to move around. You can just run the function at a new location. So that's really cool. And with that, there's not much more to be said. I made a data pack that I'm going to put in the description. Real quick, I'm going to show you how you could load it into your world and use it yourself. So let's uh, go on to that. Okay, so here we are in a brand new world. I have installed the data pack and turned off command block output. Now, before we get into how to use the function, we should quickly go over the game roll max command chain length. So its default value is not very big. If you want to make a really large maze, you're going to want to set this to a value such as a million or 10 million just so that it has enough commands to actually finish the maze and doesn't just stop midway through. So once you've done that, if you're creating really large mazes, to use the data pack, you want to go to your world spawn and run the function maze in it, which initializes it, adds the objective, and summons four armor stands, which is why you want to make sure it's in your world spawn so that those armor stands are constantly loaded. Then to create the maze, you're going to do scoreboard players set hashtag length and then set that to any value you want so let's just do 15. I would recommend keeping it smaller than 30 though and then we're going to make the width 10 also try to keep this smaller than 30. To build the maze we're going to do maze build slash build and as you can see it creates the maze and you can actually turn this stone brick into any other block you want it doesn't matter same with the black wool the only thing that matters is that the grid of blocks under here is stone brick. This does have to be stone brick, but you can change anything above it. And if you're going to make a really large maze, I would recommend just making a small one and cloning it over and over because the function can get quite laggy. And then to run the actual command, you can go anywhere inside the maze. I'm just going to go over here though. 
And the important thing is that the command is executed at this block. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do execute, positioned, and then negative two, run function maze, maze. And there we go. The maze is generated. That's really all there is to it. Uh, once again, we're just running the function executed at this block's location or any block under here. It doesn't matter. And that's how you use it. I'm going to put the data pack in the description, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.